teach you a little bit about Hillary Clinton, formerly Hillary Rodham Clinton. Would you believe me if I told you that she was once a Republican supporter? In 1964, she actually campaigned for a committee for Republican president candidate Barry Goldwater. I became interested in politics in my eighth grade civics and economics class, and there I wanted to be the first female president of the United States, so it was only natural that I would like Hillary. Um, I'm going to go over some of the significant events of her life, the influence she's had on public service, and some accomplishments and scrutiny she faced as first lady, and I'm brief a little bit about her run as presidential candidate and some info on her current projects. She's a pioneer in her public service and she continues to be an important advocate in the fight to improve the wellness of humankind. Um, after she heard a speech from Martin Luther King Jr., that's when she first decided that she wanted to get into public service reform. In 1970, she got a grant and went to work for the Children's Defense Fund and moved to Washington, D.C where she worked on a subcommittee for Democratic government, governor, senator from Minnesota regarding migrant workers. Um, and then in 75 is when she married Bill Clinton. In 79, she became a full partner at Rose Law Firm in Little Rock, Arkansas, where she was twice named 100 Most Influential Lawyers in America. Um, in 1992 is when her husband took his first run as presidential candidate. This is where she faced a lot of scrutiny as a working mother. Um, California Governor Jerry Brown would imply that her work as an attorney involving state funds was unethical and that she was only profiting because of her husband. Some of the opposing parties in the debates would, would say that she wasn't in line with some family values. Um, her response to the media after so much scrutiny, she got a little irritated and responded by saying, the only way that a working attorney and governor's wife could avoid any controversy is if that she had stayed home and baked cookies. So this also caused a little more controversy for her. Then using that against her, they would say that she's attacking the role as a stay-at-home mom. Through all the scrutiny, um, Bill Clinton was elected anyway and almost immediately appointed Hillary as the Presidential Task Force on Health Care Reform. Um, the committee she was on um, developed, devised a plan and never came to action because the Republicans called it too complicated and stated that it would lead to socialized medicine. Even though it never came to a vote, it greatly raised public awareness on the huge majority of those without health insurance in the United States simply because they could not afford it. Out of this, one of the most successful programs she created was the Children's Health Insurance Program in 1997. It provided state support for children who don't have insurance for them, for whose parents couldn't provide the insurance for them, such as like Sooner Care in our state. Um, and then in 99, Hillary formed a committee to run for Senate. Um, in 2000, November 7th, she was elected as a New York State Senator, the first ever First Lady to be elected to a public office. Then in 2007, she decided to go big time and run for president. She raised over $100 million towards her campaign, but then in June 3rd, 2008, um, rival Obama, he received the correct number of delegates uh, required for the nomination. A few days later, she resigned her campaign and endorsed Obama. After becoming president, Obama appointed her Secretary of State, which made her the third, only the third woman ever and the first lady to be appointed to this position. Um, and now through her work with the Clinton Foundation, which is on clintonfoundation.org, she works to create partnership between business, governments, non-governmental organizations, and, in, and individuals to provide people to empower their lives. Um, she's actively involved in political and economical issues most of her adult life. She's improved citizens, she's worked hard to improve the lives of citizens and continues to teach us um, that there, it's not enough to just formulate a plan, but you must put it into action as well. So I'm gonna leave you with one of her quotes. Um, you can interpret it and think about it how you want to. It's time that we move from good words to good works and from sound bites to sound solutions.